So here we are doing 1,000 conversations. We're with Steve, who's been in, living in Ithaca for eight years. And Tommy and Peaches are going to do the interviewing. Mm -hmm. It's nice to meet you, Steve. Nice to meet you. So a question is, um, and it's out of the Office of Sustainability that yep. was originally. The question is, 35 years from now, the world's in a better place. Mm -hmm. Everything everything in the world we could take one thing or many things and the the question becomes really kind of a fantasy question of what was the tipping point how did we get there what did we do um that led us forward because we're right now we're we're still in crisis mode we still don't see enough changes but something happened and i want you to tell us in your thinking in your fantasy mm -hmm. whatever how we got there i think that one of the things we're going to need to do is restructure taxes and raise taxes on the wealthy mm -hmm. because it's going to take a considerable initial investment mm -hmm. even if it pays back later and the wealth disparity has become too broad for many americans to afford the mm -hmm. initial investment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and what will so so we did that let's say we did that mm -hmm. what so what is the domino effect of that what things came into it came into fruition um, from doing that? I think, for example, that that would give us more money to experiment with renewable forms of energy. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, even if it pays off in the long run, that will take a substantial initial investment in research. Mm -hmm. So, for example, mm -hmm. along the West mm -hmm. Coast, mm -hmm. how feasible is tide generated power and what will the impact be on local systems if you start putting what about the sort of tide turbines underwater mm -hmm. they're not going to have no effect mm -hmm. and we need to find out how we take something like that and stop it from damaging the local ecosystems mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i can see that would make a big difference yeah mm -hmm. And, you know, just taxing the rich, as you're as, I mean, I, basically, that's what you're saying. That would, uh, that would free up a lot of money. That would uh, free it, up a lot. It would, and, you know, I'd just like to reemphasize that there are a lot of Americans who, uh, our gap in wealth has now become so large that many Americans just don't have the ability to contribute anything more than they are mm -hmm. already. Mm -hmm. And we have people who can contribute quite a bit more than they are. Very true. And where else can we, where else did we divert that money that made changes like education, healthcare, all that stuff? Where else did we divert that money? So did we or can we? We're imagining that we did. So what Oh, we mean, in, in yeah. the future. Yes. Um, I think healthcare could also be part of it. Uh, the, one example you mentioned, because healthcare is now so expensive mm -hmm. for many Americans, and we're spending something close to 20% of our GDP on healthcare. Mm -hmm. And I think that's too large a slice of the pie. Mm -hmm. And if people are struggling to pay for prescriptions mm -hmm. and they have a hard time mm -hmm. getting paid time off from work, to go see a medical professional, and then you tell them, well, you've got to drive less and do all these things for the climate. That's a tough sell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. That's good. You're so succinct. Yes. <laughs> I try. <laughs> That's good. What would, uh, why would people want to do this? Why would people want to, uh, um, you know, change the system we have? Why? What would be the point that, all right, we're going to put our money here. We're going to, is it a heart thing? Is it a head thing? Is it, what is it? Um, I get the most motivation by thinking about the adult lives of my kids mm -hmm. and their kids. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I fear is that by the time my kids are my age, that they will be living in a world with a substantially degraded environment mm -hmm. um, and there will be fewer and fewer safe and healthy places to live. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Yeah. That's a good, that would certainly push yeah. anybody to action, I should think. Yes. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need something, yeah.
Because we have all the science now. We know that we're on this destructive path. We know that it's going this way. Uh, you know, and it doesn't look like the, polit the, the our political systems are able to change it. It doesn't look like just the science of having the facts is enough for us to change our minds and mm -hmm. change our behaviors. It's like there's, look, there's something else. And, you know, maybe this is it right here. You know, this uh, love for your family. Oh, you're just saying your, you know, your own family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who can't relate to that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Okay. All right. Thanks, Steve. All right. Yeah. Thanks. All right. All right. I'll see you later. We'll think about where we know each other.